good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. On the internet, time is time. It doesn't matter when you're watching it. We're here together at this moment. Well, if you are looking at this for historical sense, it is Friday, May 8th, 2020. It is infinity day of being stuck inside, which is nice, but it's cool. We're helping out each other. We're staying safe in there. Well, hello and welcome to Art Class with Herm. I'm Herm. I'm an illustrator and artist who loves baseball and loves to draw it. And I really want to share that love of drawing baseball with you and drawing in general. So every episode here on Art Class with Herm, we're going to focus on a baseball-themed drawing, most likely involving the Mets, because you always want to know your audience, kids. If this is your first time here, welcome. This is our 14th episode. Pretty wild, right? But not to worry. So you can go back and watch all of our previous episodes, and you can do that simply by scrolling back on all of the seven line feeds that you're probably watching on right now. Or feel free to visit us at artclasswithherm.com. And that's a nice, easy way to bring you to a YouTube playlist of all of our previous lessons. So that's cool. You can like stream it to your television, onto a giant movie screen, or drive in movie theater, and we'll have an awesome time. All right. So let's talk about our last class. So in our last class, episode 13, we drew Bartolo's Cologne infamous home run, which was awesome. So I don't know if this was like a thing, but on all on Instagram, Twitter, things like that, it was Bartolo Day. So let's mark that day, May 7th down, and put it on the calendar, and we'll always celebrate that overall. So it was really cool to see all of your drawings, everything posted. We were able to share a ton of them. Uh, and that was amazing as we start this art club with us. So like we do in every episode, we chose three artists that we wanted to highlight and give a $10 gift card that they could spend on the sevenline.com website. So big ups to uh, Jacqueline Ann, Miriam, and Kristen. So your drawings were awesome. I've been seeing you guys popping up, sending your, your photos through every, or your drawings rather, through every class. So I wanted to say thank you and keep up the good work and keep on sharing. Also on the same note, of our Bartolo Cologne day. If you guys didn't get a chance to see the director's cut of the San Diego trip from the Seven Line Army from a couple years ago, I think it was four years ago, I believe, uh, check it out. It's awesome. It's so dope. You can watch that on all of the Seven Line uh, feeds as well. You can just scroll back and watch those on YouTube and stuff. So check that out, watch it, and then we can talk about it together. All right, enough of me chatting. Let's talk about what we're here today. We wanna draw, right? So first thing we want to do is we want to talk about the supplies that we have. So as always, I'm going to be using just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I grabbed right out of the tray of my printer. Um, you can use fancier paper if you want. There's newspapers. There's no real rules to that. Uh, markers, crayons, colored pencils, things that you want, anything. There are no rules here. Uh, just so you know, uh, with the colors, I'm going to be using yellow, gray, purple, blue, red, and black today. So that's my palette. It's a lot of colors, but if you wanted to draw something different, you're more than welcome to. I just wanted to let you know if you'd like to get in, get ready in advance of what we're gonna be drawing. All right, so what are we drawing today? Oh my goodness. Mr. Met is now in charge of the seven train, riding that right on into his home at Metz Willis Point. City Field, Shea, you can, we'll get into that in a second, but this is a, a lot of watchers and viewers have suggested this. So, you know, we got to appease, have a good time. I think this will be a really fun drawing for us. So some fun history with the seven line or the seven train rather, you know, man, I don't know exactly when it started, but quite a long time ago before I was born and the trains have gone through many, you know, different designs. They, they were red at one point. We call those are the classic red bird trains. You might see those at the MTA museum, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you ever had the chance to do that. Uh, they were also all blue at one time. What's really neat at certain certain holidays or special occasions and stuff, the MTA will bring out those old school trains. And I have ridden the seven train to, I don't remember what day it was, but I remember I was able to take that from Port Authority down to City Field. Maybe it was like the last game of Shea or something like that. But I remember there was like an old Al Lighter advertisement on there. So they hadn't cleaned it out in quite some time. Anyway, but yeah, you know, seven, it's the best way to get to the stadium. You know, you just park your car, get where you're going, and get where you're going to be at, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Cool. All right. So let's get to it. So let me just clean up my, my drafting table here. All righty. So as I said, we're going to be drawing the seven train today. And don't worry if this looks a little intimidating, you know. What we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to draw this, so we'll all be able to get a good drawing together. 
So just a little kind of a lay of the land with it. This is only really like four or five big shapes. And then we're going to go in and we call that noodling where we like add those little circles and stuff like that. So it's basically, it's like, well, here's one shape. Here's one, here's one in here. So it's really four shapes. So we're going to build out the front of the train. Then we're going to bring in this, this like beam. And then we're just going to build out the lay of the land there. And once that's laid in, we will have enough information to add in all these circles and wheels and things like that. So like I said, don't worry, we'll draw it all together. Great. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna be drawing with my handy dandy brush pen, my favorite drawing instrument on there. And I'm going to be having my paper, it's going to be horizontally or sideways, you know, on there. So ready to make that first mark? Awesome, I heard that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the front of the train. So. You have to imagine like the lay of the land here. So I'm gonna have my train, the front of the train's gonna be here, and then it's gonna kind of like bend back into this area here. So we're gonna be using a majority of my paper on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of draw like a big horseshoe shape, like an upside down horseshoe from right about here to like here. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm taking my pen down and I'm gonna bring it down. And I'm just gonna make this big shape and then I'm gonna come down like this. Something like that. Sorry for my wavy lines, I got the camera right in front of me. So I had to like kind of come up like that. So hopefully yours looks a little nicer than mine, but not to worry. Once we start addling, addling, adding in all of our colors and details and stuff, we can cover up any mistakes. All right, so here is the front part of our train. Let's go ahead and let's add in like this bumper in the front right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bottom here and I'm just going to start on the left and I'm just going to draw this line that comes across right there. Now, what I did is you can see here, I made my lines come out a little bit. So you see how it comes out a little bit on the left here and then a little bit on the right. And that's just to give it like a little more like a finesse, as I might say in our drawing. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw like another curve coming around and following along on this shape. So on the left here, I got my pen. I'm just gonna curve down like this. See that like loop that I put? And I'm gonna come over on the other side and do the same thing. I'll make another little curve like that. Great, so you can see I have both of these curves, almost like a smiley, a little smile lines, right? So now that I have that, I'm just going to connect at the bottom right there. And there we go. So now we have like our train and our bumper right there. That's too bad, right? Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to draw in this beam shape on here. Now we're just gonna lay it out and then we'll continue on with the, with the details later. All right, so you wanna decide where you want your beam. So I'm gonna draw mine like right about here. So I'm just gonna take one line and I'm just gonna drag it down my paper and I'm not going to stop all the way at the bottom of my paper I'm going to leave a little bit of room but I just drew one line down from the top of my paper and then brought it down to the floor all right so now I'm going to do the same thing but on the right so this is just one more line and I'm going to follow the same shape but I'm just leaving a little bit of space in between I like a little bit of white space on my paper there and then I'm going to connect it at the bottom like that Cool, right? All right, so now just like we drew this, this like straight two straight lines, we're gonna do the same thing on the right. So I'm just gonna move over a bit and I wanna leave a good amount of space in there because later we're gonna draw in the, the train station sign, right? So I'm gonna come up here. So I'll leave a little bit of space and I'm gonna draw another line down. Not too bad, right? When we're drawing big shapes like this, it's gonna be really fun in like a minute when like it all starts to come together and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, so we have those there, our space and our line. Let's draw one more line. So I'm drawing that down there and then just connecting it again at the bottom. So as you can see right now, we have these like funny shapes. So we have this guy right here and this beam. All right, so now let's come back over here to the train. So what we're gonna do, let me show you on the final drawing here. 
we're going to be, it's, this is what's called perspective. And this is like a loose perspective. There's, there's many other videos and stuff you can watch online. But what I mean when I say perspective is we want to give the illusion or like that magic trick that the train is like coming into the station, right? So you can see like this is the front part of the train. And all we did is we started here and we just kind of drew these diagonal lines that come to a point in the back right there. So see how it's like kind of coming out? Let me show you what I mean a little bit. Not a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm basically going to draw this diagonal line going down. And it's going to stop at this beam that we made right here. So pick a point. So I'm going to come up, like right about in the middle of my train that I made. And I'm going to come down. And I'm just going to stop just like that. So I'm not drawing it straight across. I'm coming up and I'm like diagonally going down to make this like slope on here. Now, I'm going to do a very similar thing at the bottom part, but instead of going down, I'm going to be going up. So I'm going to start here at like my bumper here. And I got my pen and I'm just going to come back. And this time I'm doing that same diagonal line. But I'm going up a little bit. Now that's like a really easy way to describe uh, perspective. If you really want to look more into it, it's, it's a really awesome drawing tool that you will definitely use in your drawing journey. And there's some more videos and stuff. I, if you feel free to reach out to me, I can suggest some. But you can see right now, so it looks like it's kind of popping out, right? Cool. So now that we did that, let's draw in this like, this, I don't know if you guys have ever been on the train. There's like that yellow bar there that you're not supposed to stand on. That's like the safety zone. Let's add that in while we're there. So what I'm going to do, so I have my, my line right here at the bumper. I'm just going to continue on that path. So I'll just bring that down a little bit. Now, similar to what I did up here, where I made it look like the train is coming into the station, I'm going to do something similar with this bit on the sidewalk here, except it's going to be wider here at the bottom. And then I'm going to like diagonally come in and make it a little smaller once it gets closer to the train to again to look like we're looking down on the train. Let me give you what a, an example here. So I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to make it wider. And as I go in, I'm going to thin out that line a little bit. So you see what I mean? So it's wider down here at the bottom of my paper. And when we get closer to the beam there, it kind of it gets a little thinner. All right, so just for detail, I'm going to add another little line right here to the right of that line we just made. And this is just to give like a little extra, a little oomph, if I may. You know, when you're on the train platform, you'll see it. What's really cool about drawing, once you start drawing like things, baseball players, ballparks, trains, when you go out and about, and your next time you're on the train, whenever that'll be, you could look at it and be like, oh, you'll remember parts. You'll be like, I remember that sidewalk. I remember this part of the train. And that's really cool too for when you want to draw. It's something that's in your memory built in. All right. So now that we have this right here, what we're going to do here is let's, let's go in and let's start to draw the windows and stuff in our train, right? So we've added just the layout of what, we, what we're going to be drawing. And then we'll continue on to some details. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the front part of our train right here and add in this really fun Mr. Met. What's really fun is I love when, if you're like me, when you draw Mr. Met, I like to think that his head is really annoying for him. It's so large. So he's got to fit into like regular people things with this giant head. So that's why it's like taking up <laughs> the whole train station there. So it'll be really fun to think about that. <clears throat> All right. So like I showed you on our final drawing here, we're going to draw our window here. So a window is just basically like a big square. So you want to think about where you want to have it. So I'm going to have mine like right here. Now I'm going to draw this square of this window a little bigger on this side. And that's because this is like the most fun part of the drawing, right? This is where Mr. Met's going to be driving the train. So now that I have that train, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to outline it again on the outside. So I drew one square. Now I'm just outlining the outside of it. And this is to just give a little, a little pizzazz, a little oomph, as I say. Because basically, this is the window of the train. 
and it doesn't it's not just cut out there's like layers of it like a paint on it <clears throat> all right so now that we have that big window here let's go and we're going to draw the door so you know the front of the train has that door in it so it's similar to this shape it's just longer it's going to be a rectangle so i'm going to start at the bottom and i'm going to bring my pen up and i'm going to bring it up to about the same height as the window we just made you see that line that went up now I'm going to come up at the top and I'm just going to have this like kind of curved line that comes up almost like a rainbow shape at the top right there. You can see that right there. And now I'm going to draw another line coming down just to the end. It, it, very similar to this line right here. So I'm going to come down from the top, pardon my freckly hand there, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to bring my line down from my door. Pretty cool, right? Now, for fun, now I'm just going to I'm going to make this side a little thicker here just because, again, it looks like the train's like coming in. Right. So if you're using a pen, a marker or such, I'm just going to take it here and I'm just going to add this like fatter line. So I'm just outlining that same shape that we made. I just made it a little bit fatter there. You see that, how it's a little thicker on the left right there? And I'm going to do that a, a bit. We're going to bring that up to the top, too. Great. Now, this is why I love drawing with these brush pens, is because you can get really thin lines, and if but if you, like, pull it down sideways and push a little harder, you can get more ink that comes out. So it's a really cool tool for that. All right. So now what I'm going to do, so this is the, the bumper, right? I'm going to come up a little bit. I'm just going to have a line. It comes across like that. So you can see the platform and that's like the bottom of the train door. All right, so let's add, so we're gonna be drawing a lot of squares and rectangles for the next couple of minutes. <laughs> so feel free to jump ahead of me. So in the middle here, I'm gonna draw another little rectangle just in the middle of that door that we made. And all of my rectangles and squares and stuff that we're going to be drawing are all going to line up with within an equal distance pretty much of that. So now we had that. I'm just going to outline that that rectangle shape again. I'll pop that on there. I don't know if you guys have ever had the chance to go to like the front of a car of the train and then just look out this this window right here as it's going into the station. It's so awesome. <laughs> You're just seeing like totally underground all the tunnels. So once this all clears up, I recommend taking that trip. It's pretty fun. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to just remember how we just did this outline here in these squares. Let's do one more just along this doorway. And don't worry if it's not perfect. It's just a little something, something to add to our final drawing. So again, nothing too perfect. I'm just kind of adding in my drawing right there. Great. So you can see it's kind of fun, right? Like when we drew before, it didn't really look like anything. Now, as we add these windows, you're starting to see a train, right? So let's continue on that. So now I'm going to draw like the door handle. So basically what I'm going to draw is like the letter C. I'm going to come up at the top and I make like this shape like that. So you see how it's like a really long letter C for cookie? I have that right there. And now that we drew that, I'm going to draw one more on the other side of it. So you can see now that we just we have that letter C right there. And I basically just moved it over a little bit and kind of fattened it out. Excellent. And then I'm just going to draw a rectangle on the outside of that. Because if you ever look at like the door handle, it's like placed on there with like a pl like a plate. All right, so now that we had it like this, we're gonna draw one more window over here. So I'm just gonna fill it in in this section right there. And again, feel free to jump ahead of me. We're doing the same steps that we did before. We have our, our shape right there, our rectangle. I'm gonna draw another little one on the inside of it. All right. So we got that right there. Now what we're going to do is let's draw in the train, the headlights of the train. So there's going to be one here and one here. So very easy. I'm just going to draw a circle. Draw one circle right here. And then I'm going to draw another circle over here. 
So you can see both of my, these are our train headlights right there. And then for fun, I'm going to draw another little circle on the inside of that circle we made. Just a little bit of extra detail there. And I'm going to do that to both of our headlights. There we go. Okay. So now that we have our headlights right there, we're going to add, we're going to draw one, like a square around both of them on the outside. So I'm going to come over here on the left. I add one square there. And I'm going to add one more on the here on the right. So this is like one of the newer seven trains you can see on there. They have like all of these little squares and rectangles and stuff on it. It'll be really fun when we color it in. All right. So this is the seven train, right? How do you know it? You can tell by the front. There's like the little emblem at the top right there. So this is up to you. If, if you want a local train or an express train. So if it if it is an express train, it's a diamond shape. But if it's a local train, it's a circle shape. So I'm going to draw a express train on here because I live in Brooklyn. And when I want to get to City Field, I want that express. Get there as quick as I can, right? So right here, I'm going to draw a diamond. So draw a diamond. It's basically like the, the t no bottom part of a triangle. So it's like two triangles up and down. So here's the top part. I'm going to draw the second part on the bottom there. You guys probably know how to draw diamonds, right? But if not, there's a little, little one for you. So that is our express one. But if you want to do a local one, you can draw a circle there. And then I'm going to just write in the number seven. This is fun too. So when you, well, after our drawing class today, if later you want to draw all of the trains, <laughs> this is it's, they all look very similar, right? <laughs> so if you know how to draw one, you can draw them all. And you can simply just change that part there if you wanted to have like the two train or like that sort of thing. Great. So one last bit of fun detail. I'm just going to draw a line here and one here. And then another one here and here. So you get to, just for fun detail, I drew like a lot, two lines over here on the left and then two lines over here on the right. All right. So now that we're getting there, here's my final drawing. Let's go in, let's draw Mr. Met. Let's have a little fun adding that into it, right? So we're going to draw Mr. Met in this front of it. So just ignore this part of the train for just a few minutes. We're going to focus on the front. So <laughs> you can see Mr. Met's eyes. He's like, oh my goodness, how did I get here in this situation? So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw his hands first. And then because I want like Mr. Met's giant head to be in there so we can put his hands in and then fit everything else around it. So if you've drawn in some of our other classes, you this is very similar to what we did in our Mr. Met drawings, but let's go over it again too, just in case it's your first time. So one hand, I'm going to come up here and I am just going to draw this curved line, almost like a little rainbow shape up there. So I'm in this window and I just went up a little, made that little curve. So now I'm just going to make, Mr. Met has four fingers. So I'm going to draw three little bumps that come like this. Let me show you what I mean. So I come over here and I go, there's one, two, and then three. So I'm not going to connect it with this piece right here. See, there's that little bit of space there. That's because that's where I'm going to draw my thumb. So a thumb is just another, it's like another kind of a horseshoe shape, similar to what we did up here. So you can see it almost looks like a, one of those delicious Cheetos. Mm, I love snacks. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. So we have that there. So then for fun, I'm just going to add one other little line. And this is like the knuckles. So you see that right there? So I just added that little line just right above those little little bumps that we had for his fingers. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side over here. But it's but it's his other hand, so his thumbs are going to be flipped, right? So again, just one more little curve right there. And then let's add in those three bumps for those fingers. So one, two three now this is where it's going to get really fun don't worry if you're if your gloves the mr met's hands you're drawing right now if they're too big because the whole idea is he's cramped in this space so we want him to look like he's really fit fit in there you know like somebody had to like push him in so what i mean by that i have that here and i'm just gonna draw one more thumb so it's like kind of behind this the first one a little bit you see that right there so they're like kind of like tucked into each other 
And then one more line for those knuckles there. Here we go. So we got Mr. Met's hands. <laughs> I'll get you on Mr. Met all day. One day, let's do a 24-hour live stream. We'll see how many Mr. Mets we can come up with. All right. So now that we have our hands right there, let's go ahead and let's draw Mr. Met's nose. So I, there's a lot of ways to do this. The way I draw Mr. Met's nose is I like to think that he has this like really big nose. It's kind of like popping out a little bit. So how I do that, it's kind of like this similar shape that we made for the front of a train, but I'm just like turning it counterclockwise. So I'm going to have my nose right here. So I'm going to come down and I just make this like horseshoe shape like that. So that's my Mr. Met nose. You see that it's almost like a horseshoe right there. So it's like fatter at the, at the tip and then it gets a little thinner right there once it comes to his eyes. All right. So now we're going to add in his eyes. So I'm just going to take a line that comes in just like right above his nose. So you can see what I did here is I had one line that comes up and I stop at the nose, move over, and then continue my line on the other side of his nose. And the reason I do this is because I want the eyes to look like they're coming behind Mr. Met's nose. His nose is big, right? It's like sticking out. So now that we have that, we're going to draw two more horseshoe shapes. And this is what's going to be Mr. Met's eyes. So these are like his lids where it's resting on. So over here on the left, I'm going to come up. And I have one horseshoe shape on the left. And I'm going to draw another one on the right. So these are Mr. Met's eyes. And then down here, I'm going to add just a little curve on that first line that we made, just to make it look like his like eyelids a little bit. So you can see I just add that little curve. All right, so Mr. Met's eyelashes, he has like kind of this like bump on the side. What I mean by bump, like a teardrop shape. So here's our eye. So I'm going to come over here on the left, and I'm just going to draw in just a little, a little bump right there. And then another one on the right. I know that's probably not the best way to describe it, but you could see, see the eyes. And I just went to the left and right a little bit and added that little bit of like a bump on there. Those are his eyelashes. All right. So now we're going to draw his eye, his eyeballs. So basically, you can have Mr. Met looking up and you can have him looking over here, over here. But I'm going to have him looking straight on. He's, you know, he's a good driver. So he's got the eye on the prize. So I'm going to draw one circle right here. And then one more right here. So there's Mr. Met. He's looking where he's going, right? So now for his pupil, let's go and let's add two more circles, but they're a little smaller. So I'll put one on inside and one in here. And I'll bring that up to the paper so you can see. So you can see I just had like one circle, big circle, and then I drew those two little circles on the inside for his like pupils. And then I'm just going to color in that that bigger circle. So I'm leaving the, the little circle white, but the bigger circle I'm just filling in the background to make it black. So it's a little bit easier to see, right? All right. So now that we have this Mr. Mint, let's go and let's add his hat. So his hat, it's going to come right here, right? But most of it's going to be hidden because he's inside of this small space. So my hat's going to come here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to make this little curve shape. This is how we draw all of our hats in all of our classes right there. So that little curve. Then I'm going to come up on the left and this is the brim. So I'm going to come up and I make this like kind of a curve right there. Do you see that on the left? I basically just made like another horseshoe shape on there. Horseshoe is the name of the game in this drawing. All right. So now this is the hat, right? And these are eyes. So we want to connect the ball head to the top. So I'm just going to come up here. So I'm going to fit it right into there in that hat. <laughs> and fit it right here. So fun, right? Look how big he is. All right. And then over here on the right, just in the window, I'm just going to add a little line right there. Right there on the right. You can see that right there. And that's just like the side of his hat. I like to draw Mr. Matt with a little hat. It makes me laugh. Great. So one last thing. Let's add his eyebrows. So he's got one eyebrow like up here and then one up here. So there's Mr. Met intently looking at where he's going. All right. So let's finish at the bottom here. So down here, we're going to add in the wheels of our train. 
So like down here, there's like a rectangle. One right there. And I'm just drawing that rectangle right between like our headlights there. And then I'm gonna have this diagonal line that comes down like that. So on the right side, I have this little diagonal line that's coming in right there. And this is like kind of like our wheels where it's all held together. And then on both sides here and here, I'm just gonna draw these U shapes or you guessed it, horseshoes shapes right here. So these are like the wheels. And then for fun, I'm gonna add like another little bump on the side. So here's one right there. So another little horseshoe right there. I'm gonna leave that one because there's not much space. And then I'll add another little U or horseshoe shape right behind that wheel, but I made it a little bit smaller. So I kind of went up a little bit and this kind of popped it right there. And I'll do the same thing right here. So these are kind of like the wheels. And the reason I drew it like this is the train track. It like, this is how the wheels sit on it, it kind of rides out. Oops. All right, so we're almost done here. Let's go in and add some other details on here. So now everything that's gonna be on this side, it's gonna follow the same shape that we made, right? So here's the final drawing. So you see, it's gonna kind of like, those lines are gonna fit on that diagonal, kind of the same the same shape that we made here. So it gives that, that illusion that's coming into the station. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna bring a line down. And then on the sides, I'm gonna come up on the bottom a little bit. And then I'll come, and on here on the right, again, I'm kind of like going down a little bit. So we have like that shape, right? Now I'm gonna connect it in the back. Just like that. Now, like we did before where we had that outline, same thing. I'm just going to draw the same shape on the inside of that shape to give it a little detail and to make it look like it's a window train. And while we're on that, we're going to draw one more window here. I'm going to draw one more window, but you can draw as many as you'd like. Again, so I'm just going to draw like one, one more shape here, one line. And basically, I left a little bit of space between these windows. And then now I'm just going to come down again. And like this. So I did this one a little bit faster because it's kind of the same thing over and over. But you see how like it looks like the train is like going into the distance now because it's like bigger in the front or it's closer to you and gets thinner in the back. And then I'll connect that right there. And then just like we did with all of our windows, I'm going to do another little shape on the inside right there. There. Here we go. And then I'm going to add one line from he to here to there to the back. So this is like the top of the train. So I just added the line at the top there. And that's like the roof. So let's go in and let's add. So this on my final drawing here. So this window we added right here just to really drive home how giant Mr. Metzhead is. This is where we're going to drive in like the second part, the side of his baseball head. So like right here, you want to find where his head is. So this is where we stopped here. So I'm just going to continue the line. <laughs> Bring it, look how funny that is. Bring that big shape like that. So you can see he's like too big for it, right? So let's add in the stitching. So the stitching, I just make this like kind of like a curved line. Going down like that. And then I'm just going to draw these like, these little bumps on the side to make like these triangles. I'm not, mine are gonna be going up. They're like the stitches, but you can make yours going down if you want. You see this, so it's basically like I made little boomerangs or triangles going up. All right. So then here, I'm just gonna take a couple of lines and I'm going to follow that same shape that we made on the side here because if you ever look at the train there's like those i don't know how you would call them they're like these little like, grids almost they're like little bumps on the side <clears throat> pardon me and then just for fun i'm gonna take another little smaller line and then kind of pop it on there they're almost like rails in a way as i'm drawing that in there man the seven train means a lot to me because i remember when i was a kid my dad hated driving into the city 
so I grew up in New Jersey, exit 91. <laughs> and we would drive into Port Authority. So we'd park in that area. And that was like enough city for him that we would take the seven train from Port Authority. And you remember there's that like really long tunnel that you walk through? I always thought that was really cool when I was a kid. Now I'm just like, get me out of this long tunnel. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, all right. So that's pretty much it for our train in terms of drawing. And we'll color it in a second. But now I want to talk about this beam right here. <clears throat> so when you go into the train station, is that big beam there that's like, I guess, realistically holding the thing up. So we're going to add a little bit of that perspective like we did here. But we're going to pop on that in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one line here and then one line here. I messed up on that part right there. So this is like our sign. So this is the sign that tells you what station you're coming into. So you can, it can be any station. Mr. Met, you know, he's got a license here. You can go anywhere. So I think now it's called Met's Willits Point. That's where City Field is. You could call it Shea Stadium or City Field or, you know, what, whatever, whatever other avenues there are, Flushing Avenue, things like that. So I'm just going to write that in with some bubble letters. All right, Mets. Willits points. And I'll pop that in there too. And Willits is a W-I-L-L-E-T-S. Willits points. Willits point. This will be fun. This is one of my favorite things when people add their drawings online later and they, they add in like all this fun stuff like different train stations. What's cool about the Bartolo drawing is I saw a lot of people writing like documentation on it. They were writing down what the announcer said, what the crowd was saying. I love that stuff. So that was really cool to see. Anyway, so we're almost done here. So now that we have that part, I'm going to come down here on the bottom, right? On this left part. And I'm just going to draw a little diagonal line that comes up just like that. You see that right there? Now I'm going to come to the top. And I'm going to do the same thing, but coming down just a little bit. So like that. So there's one up there. Ooh, you can't see that. There's one at the top right there. And the one at the bottom right there. So now I'm going to connect the top to the bottom. So I'll start at the top. I come down. And I'm going to bring it down to the sign. And then I'm going to stop. Come to the lower part of the sign. And then continue along with that. So you see, it kind of looks like that's that's perspective, kids. You see, that's a, just a little magic trick you can do to make it look like your drawing is 3D. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but now I'm on the outside of it. So again, one line coming up at the top, at the bottom, and then one line going down at the top. And then I'm going to connect it again. So just bring a line from the top to the bottom there. Cool, so you can see it's like a beam now, right? So now, just at the bottom here, I'm gonna connect from this part to this part. So just a line. That goes like that. <laughs> this drawing is so fun. I cannot wait to see your guys drawing. All right, so let's add in one last thing on here. So there are these giant bolts that go into these beams, right? You can see them right here, They're right there. So let's add those into our drawing too. So on the left here, I'm just gonna draw those, like you guessed it, little horseshoe shapes. So I'm just gonna make those little bumps, add a little bit of space, and then continue along that route. No real rhyme or reason to this. Whatever you're feeling, add those shapes in there. So now that we have that there, I'm gonna come over on the right and I'm gonna draw more circles but my circles here, they're going to line up with these bumps that we just made on here. So I'm going to come down, um, and I'm just going to have a circle there, one here, one there. So you see what I'm doing is like I'm drawing the circle, but they're like trying to line up where the bumps are on the other side. And there's so much ink on this cheap paper right now. It's starting to fold over. <laughs> That's why I'm holding it down. All right. So this is a really technical drawing. So you guys are doing a great job. I can't wait to see them. So then one last thing before we color, I 
am going to add in all of these little circles right here on this platform on there. So you can do this super quick because again, don't worry, it's not the focus of the drawing. It's just a little detail to add a little bit. So those circles, so I'm just gonna like come around and I'm just gonna draw a couple of them really quick on there. So basically my idea is that it's like a line of them that are gonna kind of go back in there and I'll just throw a couple in there. So these are for if you're walking and you feel these on your feet, you're too close to the train. You'll see people that stand on this thing, and man, it gives me a heart attack. I'm like, get out of there, you're crazy. I'm like back here, <laughs> waiting for the train. No way, man, I can get near that thing. All right, so that is our drawing on there. So that's the end of our drawing, so let's color that in. So I'm going to color my train gray, but you can color it red, like if you wanted, like we talked about in the beginning. So I'm just going to quickly kind of add in some color here to give it a little pizzazz, as we say. But like we always do here, this is I like to color here with you guys so we can chat for a little bit. So how's your day going? Oh, it's still pretty early, but how's your week going? It's Friday. Looks a little rainy out. I'm, I'm coming to you from my apartment in Bay Ridge in Brooklyn. So it looks like it's going to rain, but not sure if it's going to hold out. But... Where are you guys drawing from? Write that in the comments down there. It's one of my favorite things to see. It's cool too, because we can all, it, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all here in the whole world doing very similar things, hanging out and making sure everyone is safe. And it's cool that we get to draw with people from all over the world. And this is true. We got people from Japan, which is cool. Italy, um, you know, parts of California, the West Coast, the East Coast, obviously here in, in New York and Brooklyn. And Queens, it's just really cool to see like how far our international art class is going, right? All right so that's some gray there. So now I'm going to have a little black on the top. And I'll just add this in quickly for you guys on there. So yeah, so write down in the comments where you're drawn from. I always love to see that. And it's fun too, you know, let's start up a conversation. You'll see we start to get like the same, the same crew coming through, you know? So say hi. You know, talk about how you guys are doing. Maybe exchange some recipes. That sounds nice. We can have a cooking, cooking drawing. You can always tell I'm hungry here. I'm talking about Cheetos and cooking recipes and stuff. So I got a little gray right there, my little black right there. So then my windows, I'm just going to add some yellow in there to give it like that little bit of light. But also, when you guys go to the game, to City Field, do you take the train? Do you drive? I I'm kind of like a mix between the train and driving. Uh, and that's because parking over there is pretty expensive. But I do have my my little tricks that I can walk, that I can park on the, like a residential street and not have to pay, but it's a little bit of a walk. Whatever, it's all about the savings, right? So almost so I'm just adding a little black right there to the outline of our headlight. And then two, let me know what what kind of things you guys would like to draw. So this is our fourteenth drawing. <laughs> I could draw Mr. Met all day, but I know sometimes that can get a little boring. So write in the comments too any suggestions that you have. You know, like I said, Shea Stadium, City Field, this the Seven Train. These were all from people's suggestions on there because I probably wouldn't have thought to do this. So I appreciate the challenge and. You know, this class is for you guys. We have a good time together, and I want to draw stuff that everyone will love. So I'm just adding in my red right here for that beam. I've seen them a bunch of different colors, yellow, orange, stuff like that. So feel free to color it however you want. Maybe you can have like a blue and orange theme on there. And we'll pop that in there. And right, let's see, Mr. Menton, I'll give him a little blue hat. Almost. And like I always say, too, you know, don't worry about being perfectly inside the lines. Crayons are a fun tool, you know, they're meant to look really cool and kind of sloppy and stuff. So that's all right there. I wonder what Crayola would say to that. They're like, it's not sloppy tool, Herm. Guess what? I like to have fun. A little sloppy coloring in there. I'm not following the lines. I'm just adding in some shapes. Excellent. 
Oh, and then, oh my goodness, I forgot to add in the purple up here. You guys have to talk to Darren one day. I must have sent him like four drawings with the wrong color up here. <laughs> Poor guy's got the patience of a saint. I am pretty colorblind. And I the reason I'm really good with the colors on the crayons is because I can read. See that little violet right there? Ooh, that's how I passed kindergarten. But you can kind of pop that on there. So it's purple up there. Boom. There you go. Oh, my crayons are falling. So you just drew Mr. Met riding the seven train controlling us all right into Mets Willits Point. Awesome. How does that feel? This is probably the most challenging drawing that we did. And I say that because it's very, it's technical. We learned about perspective today, which is pretty awesome. So you can do the same thing with anything you draw. If you want it to look like it's coming out, like swinging a bat or stuff. If you make it like bigger where it's like closer to your eye and then farther out, it's a little, it thins out. You'll get some really cool 3D looks on there. But enough about, enough about talking about my drawing. I really want to see yours. So please, like we always do, we'd love for you to share your drawings online. So the handy dandy social media hot dog here. So if you put your drawing online, please tag me at Herm Herman on Instagram. I love to see him. This is the number one way to get in contact with me. And I will share them and comment and such. If Twitter is more your thing, hit up hermsterms.com and I'll retweet those and such. And also, don't forget to tag the seven line too. We'll be able to, you know, we'll share them out all together and we can have a nice little art club on there. And if you want to see some more kind of the work that I do, that's not just baseball drawings, you can go to hermsterms.com and you can see some of the other illustration work I have. And if you wanted a small plug, I just added some stuff to my web shop there. So I had this like little zine of 50 drawings of 50 cent throwing out the first pitch. If you wanted to check that out, it comes with the button and an original drawing from there. So that's pretty cool. And if 50 cents not your thing, I do have a few prints left over of Pete Alonzo hitting his 53rd home run. So I was at that game and I drew all the games and I made these nice prints. I only have like about five left. So if that's something you want to check that out, but awesome. So have a wonderful day guys. Oh yes, I forgot to say. Oh my goodness, I'm all about me today. I forgot to sign our drawings. How did I forget? So what we always say, you want to sign and date your drawing on there. So most people like to do it on the bottom right part. So I'm going to follow along with that. So I'm just going to sign my drawing there. Herm, I like to send your fun, your autograph to you. And I like to write my name there with the little smiley face on there. And then let's date our drawing too. So today is May 8th. And what's really cool about dating your drawing is if you continue on this drawing journey, you'll be able to see how much better you get at your drawing. So your first one may look okay, but then your fifth one or such look much better. So awesome. Cool. So have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. Be the best you can be. Have a, you're amazing. I love you so much. Be great. I'll see you soon, and we'll be drawing next week on Wednesday and Friday like we always do. And I don't know what that drawing will be yet, but I'm sure it'll be awesome. But have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.